be cool if I stay on that side of you just so I'm not shooting into the sun. Yeah, but... But then you'll I think like, it looks really stupid. Like this is these are this is like where I live or got out into my backyard. Check my shit out. Empty cans. Yeah, this is where I live. It's my crib. These video directors make so much money these days. I heard that back in the day they did though. Oh yeah. When I got into it, it was it, everything was beginning to fall apart. I think there's probably another way to do it, and I've been trying to figure out what that might be. in trying to figure out ways that technology, as technology evolves, it can be integrated into human experiences. And can you use technology to produce real human emotion in people? <laughs> that dog is f***ing with you, Winter. <laughs> So it's a triptych where the three individual panels represent the process of creative conception. This is something that I struggle with constantly. So the first panel where your body disintegrates into the birds, that represents that initial moment of conception. It's the moment of inspiration, it's the lightning in a bottle, it's the purest moment of the idea that there is. So this essentially represents birth. Now the second panel is representative of the critical response, either you know, by your own self-doubt, outside critical forces, or just the impossibilities presented through the process of production. This is what it feels like to have your purest expression picked apart by a thousand angry beaks. In other words, this, this panel is death. The third panel, where you sprout the giant wings, represents that feeling when somehow you and the idea are able to transcend that death in the panel before. The idea sort of transforms through the process of abstraction into something that's larger ultimately than its original. So this panel is transfiguration. I first got involved with the projects when Chris, um, Chris came to me with the, the, the treatment and the, the sort of initial idea uh, and and uh, the, the creators project were interested in, in putting this together for a show in San Francisco and my role specifically was kind of working with Chris to help design that, uh, design that experience, figure out how it was that we wanted people to interact with it, um, what the best approach for bringing those birds to life was going to be and um, how to sort of refine the way that they're interacting with your shadows. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. So this was the walkway. Can you adjust it again so that my feet are at the bottom of the frame? On, on this project, we chose to use the Microsoft SDK and the Connect for Windows. The reason we chose it is the system for skeleton tracking, which is what infers your posture when you're standing in front of the Connect, is, is really, really robust. It's nice to have this opportunity to recontextualize this kind of interaction in an art installation, just show people that this cool new way of um, interacting with moving images has implications beyond video games. Probably one of the biggest sort of technical barriers that we hit was the fact that we were trying to get a very realistic looking shadow for the piece and um, you know we're using the infrared sensor inside the connect to, to be able to pick up people's forms and, and get a skeleton from that and track their movement. We achieved something but it wasn't quite what we initially intended. It had slightly more uh, artistic or sort of illustrated feel to it almost. You know the shadows felt like you and responded like you but they didn't look as crisp as if you know if you were shining a light behind your hand onto the panel. So definitely in future versions of this that's one of the things that we're looking to look to try and improve. relationship to birds. I feel like that's something that I see a lot in your work. I guess they bring me back to my childhood to a certain extent. Like I lived on Long Island and in a pretty wooded area and we were always having 
birds fall out of nests. I was always trying to mend these birds back to health. In fact, the, 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 I did a modest mouse video many years ago, which is essentially that story, only Isaac Brock plays the bird. But it never worked, it always died. I always like wake up in the morning and look in the shoebox and it'd be empty because my mom would throw the throw the bird in the garbage. You wasted life, why wouldn't you waste the afterlife? A flock is an entity made up of smaller entities that are each working under their individual um, will, but under a set, set of rules so that there's an emergent behavior. Programmers love to make flocks. When we were out there in San Francisco, we were looking at some real seagulls. After looking at fake seagulls, or fake crows all week, um, just seeing them move, it, it looked unreal. It looked fake. They were like sort of... The real ones. The, the, real, yeah. one, the real ones were, were turning in, in weird ways and, and stopping and s slowing down in ways that we, we didn't imagine. It wasn't really until we got to San Francisco to actually A, install and build out the, the installation, but then at the same time test and refine the code and get it to a point where we're ready to uh, uh, you know, open the exhibit. So uh, it was then that you really started to feel all the components come together for the first time because you could see the three panels sitting next to each other and three projectors running at the same time. You know, we turned it on and people started going through it and it, 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 it just worked, which is sort of rare these days. Nothing just works for that long. You create a website, you put it online, and uh, you might you know, read some, some nice tweets or see comments online about it, but there's nothing quite as rewarding as actually being present and seeing the smile on people's faces and seeing them interact with it. Um, it's quite a rewarding experience. I can imagine that must have been a pretty amazing feeling for a, like a two-year-old on his dad's shoulders, like seeing him, himself sprouting enormous wings. I feel like this is where technology is headed. It's becoming like more user friendly, it's becoming like more interactive and becoming more like people based, I guess, instead of it being like a separate entity. It makes you feel like you're not really at an art gallery, but you're taking on the shape of something else and you kind of lose yourself for a second. So we're at the beginning of this new art form, this interactive medium where we don't know what it will be in a hundred years. In the same way that at the beginning of cinema, they didn't look at it as this could be color and crane shots and close-ups and dialogue and music and it could be the godfather. Um, we're at the same stage with this interactive medium. The most interesting part for me is that with this new two-way canvas there can be an actual conversation between the work and the viewer. And my hope is that the Art becomes the way in which you speak to the piece as much as it is in the way in which it speaks to you. Man, we walked far.